just feel like you know, we have it. Have what? The money. But Haney ass a fraud. <laughs> you got more money than me, bro. What you talking about? Me, bro. I'm trying. You I'm got so more cheese. Screen. Philly comedian and vlogger She Loves Rod has accused up and coming Philly rapper and trap enthusiast OT7 Kwani of scamming him out of 3.5k. There's a few layers to this. Chef G free, free Chef G. A number of you don't really have the time. I'm not a bigger Chef G fan, so it's like. Hour long video or don't even know what happened. I fuck with him though. So this is what I'm here for. <clears throat> let's just get into it. For those who don't know, Rod, aka Rod G's, gained popularity from his first day in Philly skits on IG Reels and TikTok in 2021. Uh, first day in Philly. I walked up to me and said, young boy, take that tight ass hoodie off. And they told me that my forces was dick. I don't really know what that means, but I'm going to try to get a new hoodie. It's kind of cool down here. Uh, second day in Philly, he told me to grab a Doc's hat. And he made Wait, Chad, Rod hat. is not from Philly? So it looked pretty nice. But uh, we was at the mall, and he told some girl. Chad, Rod's not from, from Philly? Philly? And I was like, she don't look firm. And he was like, young boy, you fucking that oh. up. And I really didn't know what to do. I didn't know that I was like messing up. Oh, uh, nigga. Third day in Philly, some boys jumped me and my friends and took my hoodie. But he said it's cool because he about to strap up. But yeah, we about to slide on some Jones today. So fourth day in Philly, man. I got my bro, I ain't gonna. I'm not trying to see this skit, bro. I ain't gonna. I'm not trying to see a fast forward of this shit, bro. Please. Cut. Yo. Cut, man. Yo. He took advantage of this buzz, continued to make all kinds of Can you share the screen? Most notable yeah, I'm not sharing my screen. Oh, I left the console right here. To this day, being his story times, which is a staple in his community. To further his buzz, Rod collaborated with various rappers and creators like his good friend Too Rare and Kai Sinet. He has made music of his own, gaining millions of views on his channel. Speaking of channels, I want to give a quick shout out to Word from Passion. Though Passion has a small channel, you can feel the confidence through the screen like she's been doing this for a while. Her commentary vids are pretty solid for a newcomer, covering various topics. If you ever need someone new to watch that provides new insight on different topics, she's definitely the one to go to. And she does occasional giveaways. Way, so make sure you go check her out and let her know that Fargo sent you. Let's get back into the video. Thank As you, I said earlier, OT7 Kwani is an up and coming rapper from North Philly. Really? Or I think Ocean City or Pleasantville, New Jersey. That's what people be saying. I'm not sure if it's true or not. His music is popular in Philly and a few other places. So, all right, let's put all that to the side and talk about exactly what happened. Over a week ago, Rod dropped a video with Kwani called 72 Hours with OT7 Kwani. In this video, he meets up with Kwani in LA to shoot a calm video for Rod's YouTube channel. They were both there for the Rolling Live Festival that week, so this made sense. It seems like they oh. had an agreement prior Damn, to... Damn, Rod is performing at Rolling Loud? Is he that big of an artist? Funny situation when it came down to payment. A funny and very important part of this video is when Rod finally touched down in LA. I guess Kwani and his team ran it out of B and B and they were sorting out the sleeping situation. Rod wanted the upstairs room that Kwani was in after Kwani settled in, and this leads to him telling Rod to pick the downstairs room, or if he didn't like it, to get the fuck out. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, he said it was that dying. They just was telling me to run downstairs. We just saw that you're still available. <laughs> if you wanted that, you Wait, they told him to go downstairs? Bro, why would you get in the B&B with OT7 anyway? Is it for a YouTube video or some shit? Like, I'm not understanding. It, it, it's for, he explained it in an hour-long video, but I'm pretty sure this was just for a YouTube video. Oh. I'm good. I'm good, man. <laughs> no, I'm good at that, too. Yeah, we got this job. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Back here, you're stuck, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Thank you for the resub. My fucking boy. That nigga look like Mikey. <laughs> Does that nigga not look like Mikey? <laughs> Yo, I swear I thought this nigga was Mikey. Yo. Yeah, bro, I thought this nigga was Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I swear, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That dude look like Mikey. I'm telling you, bro. This thing look like Mikey. What's up, Alvin? Yeah, I'm Mikey Orphans in the basement. Orphans, bro. Alright, you get the basement. We swap with you then. Bro, that nigga look like Mikey, bro. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, uh, Right in the basement, though. What? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Did you just tell him to get the fuck out? Rod should have just been peeping the vibes and chalked everything. It seemed like Kwani wasn't joking <laughs> because fuck? Rod kept repeating the same thing over and over, which probably caused him to say that. I was kind of a weird move by Kwani to say that, even after giving him props earlier. You really made a living on this shit, man. Yeah, you bro. Turn. Video. Keep going, bro. I got it, bro. Like, this is crazy foreshadowing for what happens next. What a few the days fuck? after this, Rod dropped the hour long video titled OT7 Kwani Scammy for 3.5K. He's a bum. Basically, exposing Kwani for running off with his money. He starts the video off talking about how Kwani's label sent copyright claims to his channel for using one of his songs in all of his intros. This is pretty standard procedure for any label. <laughs> yeah, that is. I ain't gonna lie. I got hell. Yo, even with Tekka, you know how many DMCA's I got from Tekka's label that really pissed me off? Like, I got copyrighted from, from Tekka's label for all my Tekka intros, copyrighted from NAV for all the NAV intros. Like, yo, like... <laughs> Them labels don't play. That don't even make sense yeah, if them yeah, niggas know you and they cool anything, with it. Even if it's a song, a video, a, a quick little Yo, Fabian, thank you for the resub. It's, it's over, bro. Your video is going to get copyright claimed. They start copywriting my vids. Happy so anniversary, I wasn't sub, even, the, the, the intro was like 15 seconds. That was the first thing. This nigga slum. I'm about to just tell y'all everything he did. That was the first thing. First 15 seconds, it used to just be the intro. The niggas tried to take every video down with the intro in it, y'all. What? So I stopped using the intro. I stopped using the they intro. They trying to take down every video? For half of my videos, I had to mute the first 10 seconds. Despite there being some slight tension after Rob probably thought this is Kwani doing this, the collab still nah. happened. Rob reached out to Kwani hella times before the collab in the past, and he felt like Kwani always brushed him off. If y'all like Kwani, I'm trying to bring y'all a Kwani video. The nigga would hit me, yeah, let's do it, bro. Meet me right here, meet me right here. Oh, then, then, oh, damn, bro, something, something happened, bro. And then, oh, oh, meet me right here. Meet me right here. That's uh, like some backdoor uh, shit. Oh, uh, something happened. <laughs> or we come here. I filmed the video with him. Ah, uh, we can't hear it. Drop it. It's always something with this nigga. But I never got mad at this nigga. Rob then explains that last but time. But that do be typical rapper shit LA, too, though. He supposed to accompany Chief Keef on the set at the same time he collabed <laughs> with Kwani. I'm coming to LA to do the show with Chief Keef. I'm, I'm, I got my own hotel. I stay in the same hotel every time. I have my own hotel. I got my own studio. It was he never- He should have never fun. said he stayed in the same hotel every time. What the fun. fuck? Never. I'm coming down there for rolling loud. It was never for Broski. I didn't even know he was going to be down there. So Rod claims that Kwani reached out to him saying that he saw the intro and tells him to keep up the good work. The two speak about a collab and negotiate a deal of 2,500 for two vlogs on top of another- What the I ain't gonna laugh. Any rapper ever try to charge me for a type of collab, promo, Vlog anything, never. Now I got a lie, studio session. I got a lie. If you're in the studio and you like, and you like, I mean, shit, maybe a feature, nigga. Like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, bro, that shit sounds crazy. What the fuck? session for an intro. The negotiations took a while with Kwani wanting 10k at first before going out to 3.5k. What Rod the also fuck? said Kwani explained that this would go towards all of his expenses that he had for the trip, like security, clothing, and probably some drugs. Kwani says, yo bro, if you want to really lock into the video, you got to pay. So I'm like, hmm, should I pay for this video? I'm like, they really the want supporters, to yeah. I'm not just I ain't gonna lie, supporters would want it, but I ain't gonna lie. I'd tell my supporters like, man, hell nah, nigga, this nigga trying to tax me, all type shit. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't doing that shit. That shit's over. I ain't gonna lie, I don't give a fuck. Paying for the video though. I said, bro, the, this amount of money I'm gonna pay you. You gotta do the stream as well. You gotta do the stream. Yeah, a stream would be my intro maybe. Away. We gotta do something in the stew. We yeah, gotta. Demario, thank intro. you for the prime. I said, All right, I'll pay you, but we just gonna do this. I said, let's get up while you in LA. He said, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Any business we do gotta be taken care of the right way. He's saying, yo, we gotta, we gotta pay for it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. He said, if you just want link, that's cool though. So I'm like. Oh, that's thorough too, though. But no, I don't want to just link you. What the fuck? Like, what I look like just want to, yo, bro, can I link you? What? And follow you the fuck around? But any stream <laughs> or shit like your platform, I got to get paid, bro. Yeah, where's Raw stream I on? Price, I don't be seeing these streams. But I got streams. expenses that have to be taken care Twitch. of respectfully. Bro. He be streaming on I Twitch? Said, yes. What the fuck is this Twitch? I think it's just Rod G's. Hold up. I follow him. I'll tell you. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. He loves Rod. I found it. Yeah. He loves fucking Rod. Said, I feel you, Broski. He said, 
You know I'm on a whole different level now, respectfully. Everything I do get taken care of. All I said was, let's get up bro, in LA. Like He's saying all this. I said, I feel you, broski. That's all I said. That's all I said. He's still typing. This all him. I ain't never looking for <laughs> no money for my pocket from you, bro. Just take care of the business expenses. That's it, little bro. Outfit, travel, that type shit. My security, my car, you feel me? Who am I? I said that, nigga. <laughs> I'm not your no, team. Watch out, think what's up. I'm not pampering you. That's what I want to do for the 3500. <laughs> no, I think he's going to get spoiled. I'm going to basically be trolling you in that, John. When we get home, let's get a stream. It could just be like 45 minutes. And I said, we got to do a new intro now because they like you in the intro. Let's make a little snippet, something for something for the intro. So, yeah, for a video, a stream, and an intro, okay. That's yeah. promo. I'll pay you that for that. Not for a video, though. When Rod gets to LA, he feels like Kwani is bullshitting. You know I'm saying not giving him enough time to, you know, get some content out. Not really giving him enough attention to, you know what I'm saying, get the content done. And this causes Rod to, you know, think internally that this is just bullshit and he's on BS. Like I explained earlier, the whole vibe <laughs> of everything was off. Damn, Kwani's a skinny. Yo, every nigga in Philly is skinny as fuck. Like, damn, dude, Philly niggas eat that? Like, yo, every Philly nigga I know is skinny as fuck. Like, yo, real shit, bro. In Ironic. the same vlog, they go to the factory of the well-known clothes. Yeah, my skinny as fuck. Clothing brand Hellstar. Just hold that thought about Hellstar for later. Despite the dysfunctional situation in LA, Rod said that he was willing to wait until they got back to Philly to get better content with Kwani, and some more BS happens. I go back to the bitty. Soon as I land, the nigga call me. He say, yo, bro, I love you, bro. You my little bro, real shit. I want to let you know I love you. Soon as I touch, damn, we're going to do the stream. I, I, I get there this day. His manager texts me. Yeah, he got to pick up money from this spot. And, bro, he told me in my face, I really love you, little bro. That's why I did this shit. Real rap. I usually charge niggas this. I did this because I love you, bro. You really my, I love you. Yo, I land on a Tuesday. It's Thursday. I text his manager. I say, yo, y'all was supposed to land on Tuesday and then come on Tuesday. I ain't text you Tuesday, Wednesday. I waited till Thursday to see what was up with Tuesday. I gave you an extra two days to hit me back and let me know. Like, and mind you, I text them Thursday night. You feel me? I gave uh, you Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. What's going to let on? Me know what was going on with Tuesday. His manager say, you know what, bro? Actually, next Tuesday, we're going to knock it out. I say, all right, so say no more, bet. Next Tuesday come, I text his manager. What's up, broski? Nobody text back. <laughs> So after Kwani hits Rod up after he leaves, communication from Kwani's side gets shaky. Rod confronts Kwani, and this is what he had to say. I said, send me 1500 back then, <clears throat> broski. I didn't pay that just for a video. He texted me back an hour later. Now, this after I got off stream. I just ended stream at 6 a.m. I said, send me 1500 back then, broski. I didn't pay for just a video. He said, bro, I'm sending you everything back. Don't drop nothing. You want some weird shit, bro. It's 6 a.m. It's Ramadan. I got a life. You bugging, bro. It's been what two the fuck? weeks. <laughs> why he got my money. Did that nigga now, just try to use Ramadan as an excuse for him not to pay? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Nigga. Chad, that nigga did not just use Ramadan as an excuse. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Ramadan, bro. I got a life. Just stand the third. You're not gaslighting me, nigga. Do your stream or send me my fucking money back. I got a family, nigga. I got days to relax. Fuck you think you is, bro? You high? Stop texting me. I said, I know. Let me know next month. Let me know a new date or something. What the fuck? He said, I'm giving the money back simple, bro. Never mind. I said, because you ain't hit me. He said, I don't want to talk, bro. I'm going to have Tav hit you. I said, bro, you a weirdo because you ain't hit me. He said, you tripped out, bro. I'm done talking. I said, cool, bro. Make sure I get my money back. I was texting you for four days. He said, left you for four days? I said, yes, I hit you. He said, what the fuck is you talking about? I said, just let me know the new date. That's it. You tweaking for nothing. He said, bro, I just fucking told you it's Ramadan. I got a family to get to. I said, send my money back. He said, my <laughs> duty is not your video. As soon as I get back, stop texting me. I said, send my money back. He said, you're getting your money back. Stop texting me, bro. Simple. I said, all right, bro. Now, the way Rob was talking, <laughs> obviously, Rob the, the wrong fuck? way. And I don't blame him. And this is exactly what happened. I said, you keep saying I'm high. You're cursing. You keep acting crazy and trying to yumble on me. I never disrespect you. And after this, I'm not even going to run my mouth. It is what it is. But you just wild. Just know that, bro. Just send my money. He said, unless you're going to see me and say that to my face because I punch you in your face, then what, right? I said, me and you in a room, it's not happening. Y'all know why I always use the me and you in a room? Put the fact that the people around you got guns. Put the fact around that you got a gun. Fact. Me and you. Fuck all the other shit. Fuck the goons. Fuck the guns. Me and you. You're not it's about not to just happening. punch me and I chill and... 
<laughs> you think you gonna punch me? No, this thing is funny, bro. Punch me in my face and I'ma just chill, Kwani. I'm not even that type bull. And, and the reason that this story ain't come out ASAP is because niggas like, Rod, chill. Kwani, Kwani, he got these people and they might, they might crash out and then he got, he got this person and they might do this and give me my money. <laughs> I said, you lame, bro. Watch out. He said, what'd he say? I got way more money than you and everybody you hang with, young bull. Suck my dick. I'm, I'm make the money back. Watch out. No diddy. Just let me, leave me alone. I just wanted my money. Not, <laughs> not TTU. What is TTU? Talk to you. Oh. He said, I make my money back. Watch out. No diddy. Just leave it alone. I wanted my money not to talk to you. He said, I got way more money than you and everybody you hang with. Young boy, suck my I said, I'm going to make the money back. He said, watch out. I said, no diddy. He talking about suck my dick. No diddy, bro. I said, just leave me alone. I wanted my money not to talk to you. Now, it seems like Rob really wants his money back. He's willing to do anything for <laughs> it. He's standing on all 10. He does not care. He's willing to fight Kwani, bro. Now, Kwani responded to all this stuff on IG, on his story, and he said a few things, and I'm going to read it. First, he has a text with somebody from Hellstar. I think his name is Shawnee. I'm not... What's up with the rock here? Nigga showed him mad. Nigga showed him mad love. I gave him like one to two k worth of hell star for free off the strength of you. He tripping. Nah, like two thousand worth of hell star, nigga. What? Who what the fuck you that gotta do? Nah, but that ain't got me my three hundred. Nigga, it ain't free no more if he pay for it. Shit, he damn near pay for it. But yo, I ain't gonna lie though. Yo, Shawnee, come tap in with the nation. Hold on, hold on. where's the guy? Hold on. What's his IG, Shawnee? Hellstar Shawnee, what's the vibes? Talk to me, Shawnee. Hellstar Shawnee, what's the vibes? Like, I'm not finna send you no fucking gear. Like, what's up? Bro, they don't want to see you post a picture in the Hellstar hoodie. Why not? And Mary jeans and fucking Dior shoes. I bet you OVO old. would. No. Fuck no. I bet you OVO would. Nigga. If Drake ever sends you a hoodie and you go OBO? post and you go disrespect Drake brand by putting on some fucking Mary jeans and some Dior shoes and thinking you fucking fly, Drake is going to send a cease and desist. Listen, I don't think I'm big enough for Drake to reach out to me just yet, but I think that Drake will put me in some OVO merch. I think Drake no, would say, yo, I feel like Drake's going to have a moment since like he's on the streaming wave. I feel like he's gonna have a moment where he's gonna tell his team, yo, send every top percent, top, top one percent nigga on no, Twitch some no. OVO merch. Yo, send he's every gonna, top one no. percent nigga on kick some OVO merch. Yo, he's like, gonna, yo, he, listen, what, yo, no he's rat. on his he's on his streamer arc so bad. I go like I'll be like, yo, every streamer who reacts to push-ups, send them some OVO merch, nigga. I go lie, you gonna send some OVO merch. Rat, yo. Listen. He is going to send AMP, Aiden, and maybe your rage OVO merch. You are not getting no fucking merch. Nigga, yeah, you would. That shit is going to AMP and Aiden. <laughs> he what don't want to see an OVO hoodie over some fucking Ameris. Bro, stop it. So you don't see you don't think Axe gonna get an OVO hoodie? That's Ack. Okay, you don't think I'm gonna get an OVO hoodie? No. What about Max? No. What about Combi? No. Stop maybe. it. See, like maybe. Oh, not maybe. Stop. I don't if watch Combi. Kind of so I don't know. What about, maybe. Okay, what about Cheezer? If I ever see Cheezer with an OVO hoodie on, if I see Cheezer in person or everything I love, I'm snatching that hoodie off <laughs> nigga, his fucking back. It, nigga, I'm gonna use that shit as a fucking tissue, nigga. <laughs> On God, I'm snatching that shit you off. You will never use back. no OVO hoodie as a tissue. I'm going yeah, yeah. to snatch it off his back and blow my never. fucking no, nose in the hood. No, you're not. Yo, Rari's, thank you for the um, sub, my fucking dog. Welcome yeah, to the, the nation. These are little as shit. I'm taking his fuck. I'm taking everything. I'm going to be wearing the OVO hoodie. Oh. Some, all this stuff on IG, on his story, and he said a few things, and I'm going to read it. First, he has a text with somebody from Hellstar. I think his name is Shawnee. I'm not really you know familiar with, with Hellstar, whatever. And it says... Uh, what's up with the rock kid? Nigga showed him mad love. I gave him took little bro to Hellstar and blessed him and had him with Lil J for three days, and he, and offered little bro a place to stay the whole trip. I didn't even want to do this, but it's getting annoying, and it seems like little bro got an agenda to tear me down. 
I got straight off the plane, put little bro in a straight double R, and I tried to pay for his expenses out of my own pocket. I never did no bad business in my life. Damn. One to two K worth of Hellstar for free off the strength of you. He tripping. And Kwani says, took Lil Bro to Hellstar and blessed him. And had him with, I don't know who that is, LeJay. Yeah, who y'all believe, Kwani or I ain't even want to do this, but it's getting annoying. It seems like Lil Bro got an agenda to tear me down. I got straight off the plane to put Lil Bro in a Rolls Royce. And I tried to pay for all of his expenses out of my own pocket. I never did no bad business in my life. It's another story where he says, since everybody got so much to say about me, tell them how I own my own Maybach. No car note. First young nigga from my side of town to ever do it. I made history. Stop speaking on my name unless you're going to speak facts. And it's another one where he has a pile of money, basically showing, you know, all the money that he has. He always flexes money and stuff like that. And there's one last story from Kwani saying, y'all got to stop saying I scammed somebody, bro. Hellstar, Shawnee, and LeJay, and my whole team and I did way more for him than I was supposed to. Little bro Kwani for trying to tear down my career and troll, especially when I supported you and had real love for you. You leaked my number. Got motherfuckers calling my phone. All Damn, he leaked his number? Foul. I get paid 10k and up to even do this type of business and I only did it because it's him. He from the city, that's Lil Bro, but he foul and for all the people entertaining, that's dead wrong. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, and act mm. like leaking somebody's number is is, is, is good, but at no, the same time, like number, that is saying foul. pay him is 3.5k. You know what I'm saying? If, if he still ain't get paid and you're still up here up and down flexing money and He said, bro, I don't give a fuck if you threaten me with cops on my kids, bro. I'm going to do something to you. Oh, my God. <clears throat> You're not safe out here. You got niggas really trying to tear me down. I ain't do nothing but show your bitch ass love. Clout chasing ass, young bull. Stop texting me. Got motherfuckers calling my phone all day. I can't even kick it with my kids, you bitch ass, young bull. You're going to get hurt on my life. I said, do the stream or pay me back. Simple. Nigga said, think I'm playing all you want. <laughs> nah, whatever y'all imagine, nigga said, oh yeah, I'll do the stream. Where you at? <laughs> Yo, like, Chad, would he still want that stream? <laughs> Chad, would you still take that stream? No one Rod, I go lie, Rod be like, yes! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that nigga Rod is a funny nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll fuck with Rod, bro. That nigga's a funny nigga, bro. <laughs> oh my God, that nigga's a funny nigga, bro. <laughs> I don't get these rap niggas. How is he threatening Rod? Tracy, thank you for 31 because... months. Gang, gang. I hope that video was worth it, pussy. I don't owe you shit, nigga. I get 10K to do that shit. Bitch ass, broke ass, young bull. You don't get hurt on my sons, bro. You're not safe out here. I don't give a fuck who you tell, bitch ass, young bull. Suck my dick. I see you. You better run, nigga. <laughs> nigga said no diddy. Nah, this nigga is trolling. Yo, Chad, this nigga is trolling. Oh my god, this nigga is trolling. <laughs> oh my god. This nigga does not give a fuck. And stuff like that. After he done, you know, you know what I'm saying, gave you the money and stuff like that, which is, I'm going to get into that in a moment. It just doesn't make sense to me why you would do that. But we'll just continue. It just doesn't make sense why you acting like this is something a YouTuber won't talk about on his channel. I'm still ducking. Know, Come on, right, brother. So Yo. 302, yo, 302, we knocked him out like fucking Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia did Devin Haney, nigga. We knocked him down, nigga. They don't want to get back up, nigga. They don't want to fight no more. You feel me? They trying to, but their legs is wobbling, nigga. They trying. They trying, though. They trying. You feel me? Like, Here's my final take on the situation. So, Rod, you should have got a contract for this entire thing. When I see you, you better have a gun. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That sounds very familiar. That's in the chat. <laughs> to do anything do any you know what i'm saying meetups or anything like that because stuff like this can happen right no matter how cool you are or how much you trust them you never know what could happen you got buzz now and your time can't just be wasted by anybody especially by someone who raps about scammy people and makes songs with arguably the biggest scam rapper ever in punch made dead and for the people saying that rod is probably lying about this like bro like I don't think he's hurting for views and <laughs> let's be real bro for all the lies he can make up why would he choose ot7 kwani man mr snippet god mr ice you know what i'm saying drop a snippet and, and don't drop the song don't drop music mr <laughs> ot7 kwani out of all the people he would choose him now, to is it fargo from philly too come up with a whole fantastic story and stuff like that like a lot of people were saying this Did stuff you was cat. Me so, I mean, he showed nah. messages on, on his stream and stuff like that in his video. It's basically the hood version of Aiden Ross getting scammed by Playboy Cardi. Like, 
But let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comments, man. That's all I got to say about that. Make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that. Links in the description. I'm probably going to put it on the screen all around here. You're going to see it. But you know I'm saying I never really plug nothing. Just make sure y'all go follow me on there. Keep the discussion going, bro. Wait for the next video. I'll be back as far as I go. And I'm out, man. He said he missed me. What? What are you talking about? I didn't know Namir did an interview.